I'm John Coughlin, the president of City of Joy International. City of Joy is in Rwanda, in the southern province and the district of Nyanza. And our mission is to elevate the community out of poverty through Christian education and development. Uh, so everything that we do at City of Joy is informed by uh, Ephesians 2.10, which says that we are God's masterpiece, that we're made new in Christ uh, to do the good things that he planned for us long ago. Uh, and so we believe that about all the kids that live in our community, that, that they are God's masterpiece, that he's made them uh, in a specific way uh, on purpose um, to do good things uh, in this world. Uh, we don't think it's right for kids who are God's masterpiece uh, to be living in the kind of conditions that they're living in, uh, in a community uh, marked by extreme poverty, where they have limited access to, to clean water, to uh, adequate nutrition, to education, to medical care, uh, where their parents earn less than $1.90 a day. Uh, and so we want to remove all the barriers uh, and equip them so that they can find the long-term solution to the problems of their community. We have a a lot of different projects going on at uh, City of Joy. Uh, the primary piece though, the thing that we think makes the, the biggest impact long-term is Joy Christian School. My name is Elia Kim. I am the principal of Joy Christian School. We have 314 students. Uh, from nursery one or kindergarten up to senior three. We give, we teach our students many things, but most of all, we make sure we give the students values that can make them good as Christians and good as citizens for the future of this country. We give students care, love, and sympathy that probably many of them are not getting from their families. And we hope we are modeling something better that students can practice in the future. One of the problems we found as students began coming to Joy Christian School is that they weren't getting enough nutrition at home. Uh, one in four kids in Rwanda suffer from stunting due to malnutrition, and that's very true for our community as well. Uh, and so to address this problem, we began offering Sosoma in the mornings, which is a very nu nutritious porridge. Uh, and then we added a, a hot lunch as well of beans and rice and greens and whatever's growing on the farm, we add to the, the lunch. The school has been here for 10 years and when it started out, people never thought it would make it. So we started with 60 kids and we had 20 students in each class and we only had three classrooms. This time we have more than 16 classrooms that can be used by our students. We have technology, we have almost everything that students needed to learn, though we still needed to grow. And uh, what we have seen in three academic years was very incredible. We had our students pass national examinations 100%, and it is something we are very proud of, and we really needed to continue this. The long-term solution to the, the poverty of our community is going to come from the kids who are in our school right now, but there are a lot of immediate needs. Uh, and so to address some of those immediate needs, uh, we've begun some development projects to equip the parents um, and the older siblings of our students with some tools that they can use to begin uh, earning an income uh, for their families now. One of our projects is a, a sewing school. Uh, where students come to learn skills so that they can uh, generate income for their families. Another project that we have is our basket weaving program uh, where women from the community learn to make traditional East African baskets uh, and then we sell them all over the world. We're so thankful for all that got us done since City of Joy began. 
Uh, some of our students, when they first came to Joy Christian School, were three, four years old, uh, and now they are in high school. And that, that masterpiece that God has created them to be, uh, we're beginning to see them flourish in that. And now they are beginning to dream about those good things that God has planned for them to do. I just want to make it clear how we are making an impact on this community. So if people know this is happening, they can know we are not just telling stories, we are telling reality.